Now I'm running to be your prosecutor. Longtime child abuse prosecutor Jonathan Natani is best known for winning convictions in the murder and torture cases of Gabriel Fernandez and Anthony Avalos. Now he's running to replace his boss, incumbent LA County District Attorney George Gascon. We have a major public safety issue here in Los Angeles. Um, so many people feel unsafe. Gascon has been criticized by his opponents for rarely filing enhancement charges. So if you use a gun and you kill somebody, we should charge the gun allegation. If you're a gang member and you kill somebody, we should charge the gun allegation and the gang allegation. Hatami also believes in filing hate crime enhancements, and he wants to separate himself from Gascon, who won office by promising never to seek the death penalty. I don't say I'm pro-death penalty, and I don't say I'm anti-death penalty. I say I'm for following the law. Hatami is now a registered Democrat, but he previously ran for the Santa Clarita City Council as a Republican. This shouldn't be a Republican-Democrat issue. Um, I think it's irrelevant. Um, am I proud uh, of my past history? 100%. According to the latest county data, he's raised more than $550,000. We see it all over the news. Smash and grab robberies and organized retail theft across Southern California. Former federal prosecutor Jeff Chemerinsky has raised nearly $900,000. He calls himself a reformer who prosecuted and convicted the head of MS-13. I believe strongly in gun enhancements. He also supports filing hate crime enhancement, but he's reluctant when it comes to gang enhancements. And gang enhancements have really been abused in the past, added on to cases where the evidence uh, didn't require it or wasn't the right thing to do. On the death penalty. I personally would not be applying the death penalty. In 2016, he won convictions in a smash and grab case in Century City. And in December, his son was at the Santa Anita Mall when another smash and grab happened. The mall was on lockdown and it was terrifying for us. Chemerinsky has spoken publicly about criminal justice reform, which has drawn comparisons to Gascon, but Chemerinsky doesn't consider himself a progressive. I am a reformer former, but I'm also a prosecutor. I truly believe you can have both. Enough is enough. Former federal prosecutor Nathan Hockman has already bought up a million dollars worth of ad time after raising more than one and a half million dollars. He says enhancements on guns and gangs are necessary. To deter people who are part of gangs or deter people from using guns in the commission of those crimes. On the death penalty? Used in the most rare situations, in the most heinous of crimes. As long as it is part of the law, and as long as I've sworn to uphold the law, it will be considered. Hockman switched his party affiliation to independent after a failed run for the California Attorney General's office as a Republican. I have been absolutely consistent when I ran as a Republican, and quite candidly, now that I'm running as an independent, as a district attorney, that none of those positions have changed. A recent poll from researchers at USC, Cal State Long Beach, and Cal Poly Pomona found 51% of those surveyed disapproved of George Gascon's job as DA. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News. And KCAL News is your source for election coverage. For information on all the big races and ballot issues, just go to kcalnews.com slash voter guide or scan the QR code on your screen.